What is up, Techno fam? Chana D, your Techno Dad here with a quick video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to move these very large 4K Blu-ray rip files from the computer over to this bare drive that goes in like a PD or something like that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And a big shout out to Seagate for sending over two 16 terabyte drives. So basically you have two options. The first one is file transfer via your network. So if you have your Zipidi hooked up and you put in your drive and you know your, your drive is formatted to NTFS or something like that, then you can set it up as a Zipidi share, which I'll get into in the um, review video. I was trying to make this all one big long video, the review and how to do this and comparing it to the Plex and Shield. But like that's... <laughs> It's just so daunting. I've been working on that for weeks and it's just not happening. So I'm just going to cut it up and it's going to be easier for me and for you probably as well. So when I set up my Zipidi this time around, I set it up as a shared drive because the Zipidi uh, 4K Pro HDR is down here and the Zipidi 4K Mini is upstairs. So I want the Mini to be able to access all the files off of here. Now, interestingly enough, if I have the uh, 4K Pro down here connected to the network, I can just go on my Oppo 203, jump onto the network, select Zipidi, and I can start just watching movies off of there as well. So that was kind of handy. Didn't know I could do that, but it all comes in, you know, 4K, HDR, Dolby Atmos, or DTSX or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So if you're on the PC, just open up a new uh, folder window and type in slash slash Zipidi HDR. And that's pretty much it. Um, SDA is where all my files are located and movies are in different folders like movies 4K, movies 1080p, that kind of thing. Now for the Zipidi, you want one folder of movies. That's what they say. I like to kind of, um, you know, organize it in just in 4K and 1080p so I know where to drop the movie. But it all just gets kind of populated throughout with one folder. So you can just do one folder of movies and just drop it all in there. It doesn't really matter. This is just the way I decided to do it. Now, if I wanted to copy a file, it's easy as copy and then paste. And as you can see, it's gonna take about 27, so around 30 minutes for a full 4K HDR movie. That's at this size. Now, of course, if the movie is like 90 gigabytes, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So that's how long that takes. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's a little bit different and also depends on your operating system. So I just got the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So if you open up a finder window and you'll notice down on the left under locations, it says network. If you click on that, you can see Zipidi HDR right there. Click on it and you see the SDAs, the hard drives, just like you did when you were accessing it on the PC. Now, if you're on an older Mac, I have a 2018 MacBook Pro. It's a little bit different. We got to go to go and then we have to go to connect to server or something like that. So from here, instead of typing in an address, you can just click browse and then you'll see the PD HDR in the little list here. And same thing as usual, you can go, you can copy, you can do whatever you need to do. And that's how you do it on both computer platforms. That's the, like the slow way. Okay, I like to do the fast way because I'll get in a bunch of movies and I do not want to uh, copy these one at a time. So what I did was I got a drive dock from OWC. Now I put a link down in the description that'll take you to, you know, a whole bunch of different Seagate drives for you to choose from, different sizes, different prices. And the drive dock is also there. All those links take you over to B&H Photo, which usually has majority of the stuff in stock. So the drive dock is pretty cool. I can put in a bare drive, whether it's a three and a half inch spinner or a two and a half inch uh, spinner or SSD. And then we just connect that up to the computer and you can turn on or off the individual drive in the drive bay. I went ahead and labeled the 16 terabyte drives I got from Seagate one and two. So I just know where I want to fill it up. Now, if you're using a two bay hard drive system like the Zipidi 4K Pro HDR, it's not going to raid the drives. They're going to be two individual drives. So if you fill one up, then you fill one up and then you move on to the second one. That's kind of the way that works. So if you end up getting more movies than your drive can handle, let's say you have a four terabyte drive, then you buy another drive that doesn't need to be four terabyte, it could be larger, like a 10 terabyte, stick that into drive two, and then you can start you know, moving stuff on. Uh, via the file transfer via the network or 
this bulk transfer, which is what we're talking about now. Drive Docs seems to work just fine on my Mac. For some reason though, it's not really working well on my PC. And I uh, don't know what that's about because it's supposed to support both. So I gotta uh, contact OWC and see what's up with that. Now, if you guys saw my ripping video, you guys know I use DVD Fab. And inherently, it kinda like puts you through this little bottleneck. Right. If you select a folder to put in your M2TS or MKV file that you're ripping, it'll create another folder, right, a subfolder in that directory that has the title of the movie. And then in that folder is the movie file, whether it's the M2TS or the MKV or the ISO, whatever the situation is, it's going to be in that little folder structure, right? the folder location you selected, then it's gonna make a new folder with the movie title and then it's gonna stick the uh, movie in that folder. Now it's gonna be a pain in the butt to you know go copy one, boom, and then copy the another one, boom, copy another one. So I, I found out this little hack, okay? It works on both PC and Mac. I'll just show you here on the Mac because that's the easiest for me to screen record. So I open up a finder window and I go to my transfer folder. You can see on the left here are the movies I want to copy. And on the right here is the destination folder. Now, one of the other things you wanna do before you move all of your um, files over, or you can do it after, and that's remove the theatrical or the Title 800 or the Ultra HD Title 800. You wanna remove all those little additions. Like you want it to just say Alita Battle Angel M2TS. You know, sometimes it comes in as like Braveheart, dot theatrical dot mkv you want to get rid of the theatrical you want to get rid of it if it says title 800 that's another common one that pops up just get rid of all that nonsense if it says ultra hd also get rid of that so it's just the name of the movie dot mkv dot m2ts whatever so depending on what your file is if you just go to the search area of that finder window and type in m2ts it'll give you a list of everything on the computer that's m2ts However, if you click this folder only, transfer, boom. Here you have the list of all the M2TS files without that nasty little folder structure. So now we can just select all, copy all, and go over to the new destination folder, which is the drive movies 4K. So yeah, that's a pro tip. It's gonna save you a ton of time and you can get that bulk transfer done like that. So again, you can also do this on the PC. It's a huge time saver and I'm glad I thought about it. So I don't have to actually sit there and copy one movie at a time. That would be super, super painful, especially since I just dropped like a thousand dollars on 4K Blu-rays just for, to make this video. I know it's pretty stupid. I'm, I'm an idiot sometimes, but it's okay. If Zapiti is going to send me a couple of players and uh, Seagate's going to send me some drives, yeah, I should put in a little bit of money so I can, you know, fill up the drives and get the process down to, you know, you know, so it's like a factory over here. I'm just, you know, getting 10 discs in and ripping them, you know, by the end of the weekend, everything's loaded up into the Zapiti and accessible in three rooms of the house. So yeah, that's about it. Make sure you subscribe up and hit the bell so you get notified when the next video is released. I got a couple more videos on the Zapiti, the review video, and of course, the long awaited, which one is better, Zapiti or Shield slash Plex. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time. <laughs>